Russ Cavalluna, your president. Two of our community's spring holidays are Earth Day and Arbor Day. Both of these holidays focus on environmental conservation and sustainability. My guest presenter is Linda Brandt, a longtime faculty member in biology and someone I often like to pop into her office and discuss many things, including biology and sustainability with. Linda earned a well-deserved honor in 2019 as the Women's Recognition Award winner for faculty. Linda is now retired from teaching, but is still an active member of our community who is dedicated to environmental causes. You will enjoy hearing her share her MAP strategy to support the environment. Earth Day on April 22nd this year is an International Education and Conservation Day focused on preserving clean air, clean water, clean land, and maintaining our natural resources. Before the 1970s, industrial growth had spread with very few environmental restrictions. Problems such as pollution, litter, and damage to habitat and landscapes were widespread. U.S. Senator Gaylord Nelson of Wisconsin led a grassroots movement to support environmental conservation. He and college student Dennis Haynes and others brought together volunteers from across the country to establish the first Earth Day on April 22, 1970. This has since become an international holiday dedicated to environmental action and sustainability. Many trees have been planted and activities hosted on HFC campuses over the years in honor of Earth Day. Each year's Earth Day has an international theme. The 2022 theme is Invest in Our Planet. To learn more, please visit Earth Day Org. Arbor Day on April 29th was created 150 years ago. This holiday was founded in 1872 by Detroit native Julius Sterling Morton. Morton and his family have moved to Nebraska and planted trees, shrubs, and flowers on the prairie around them. Morton and Many of his friends came from places with forests. They missed being surrounded by trees. As a journalist, Morton used his writing and speaking opportunities to ask the Nebraska Board of Agriculture to designate an annual day to plant trees statewide. April 10th, 1872 was designated the first Arbor Day. It has become a national holiday and has been celebrated every year since its founding. Earth Day and Arbor Day help remind us of how important our planet's environment is to our health and our well-being. I encourage you to learn more about these holidays, to get outside, and to get involved in environmental action in whatever ways you can. Happy Earth Day! and Happy Arbor Day. Hi, Friday is Earth Day, April 22nd. Some people say that what individuals do, like recycling, doesn't matter, that it's a drop in the bucket. But that's like saying your one vote doesn't matter. Individual actions do help. Congratulations and thank you to all of you who take individual actions daily, like recycling from your house. So much can be done. But we also need large-scale changes from government policies that work toward an improved environment. And we need actions of large companies and industries to help improve our Earth and its atmosphere. We really have three paths to cleaning up our air and water that I like to refer to as MAP. Mitigate, adapt, prevent. Mitigation efforts include removing carbon dioxide from our air. My favorite example is the groups that are taking carbon dioxide from the air and using geologic processes to store it in rock. Adapting includes building and acting wisely 
in fire-prone areas and flood-prone areas. Prevention, of course, includes a huge reduction in carbon dioxide and other pollutants that we put into our air and water. All of these are important, and we humans are making strides, but we must do better. Poor people around the world suffer the most from environmental problems and climate issues. This is a fact. We must continue to work at the problems of climate change and other environmental pollutants while we still have time. So what can you and I do? Visit and support local, state, and national parks and other natural areas. Work on cleanup days like the one at Mayberry State Park in Northville on Saturday, April 23rd. Join a local environmental group like Friends of the Rouge. Be politically active. Research your government officials. Vote for candidates who understand the environmental issues with which we struggle and the needs of our earth. Help these people get elected. Plant trees. Join the HFC Sustainability Committee. Help with group tree plantings. Plant your own trees when, where you can. The more trees, the better. They really do help the earth in so many ways. Cities around the globe are responsible for two-thirds of greenhouse gas emissions. Planting trees in urban areas really does help. Take goods like textiles and appliances that you can't recycle, curbside, to a place like Recycle Ann Arbor rather than tossing these items into the garbage. Inquire of DTE and Consumers Energy about what they are doing to help with climate change and greenhouse gas emissions. Be informed so that you can inform others. Share with your children, grandchildren, friends, and neighbors what they can do to help. So, get outside on Earth Day. Let nature lift your spirit while you are also helping our Earth.